Hi everyone, in my last video, I showed you how to create the double radar chart in both Excel and Power BI. And today I'm going to show you when you need to create a bunch of the same charts in a small multiple way, how can you reproduce them efficiently in both Excel and Power BI? Now let's first look at how to create this chart in Excel quickly. So last time we were able to create one double radar chart for one of the executives. So now let's say, of course, like when we do the training, we do it for multiple employees, multiple executives, and uh, we want to create this for every single position. So the first thing before we do those small multiples is always to make sure you reorganize your data in a way that's efficient for creating the charts. So for example, let's say our raw data comes with two charts. One is the before training, everyone's score by competency level, and one is after the training, everyone's score by competency level. The first thing you need to do is to create this chart and make sure that for every person, you have one row for before training and one row for after training. So this will come very handy when you try to create charts in batches. Let's say we have organized our data ready here and then you can see the first chart like we have already done the first chart if you wonder how to create this you can check my video last week and uh, let's basically try to recreate this with the rest of the executives so to do this actually the most easy way is to copy and paste so let's say copy control c and control v and then you get the same chart and then it comes to the customization part so in excel unfortunately the chart title has to be manually created so for example if your next job is vp finance then you do have to manually create it but then luckily in terms of the data you what you need to do is just to select the chat uh, plot area and then it will show you the data that's used. And then what you need to do is simply uh, point to the data and then drag it down to the job that you need for this job. And then it's going to be automatically readjusted. And then you can simply do the same thing for the rest of the jobs. I'm actually going to do it in your eyes so you can see how fast it is if you have to create it six charts altogether. So the first thing I do is to recreate it, my chart, but then after I create my chart, I'll select my plot area and then drag down my data. So yeah, so it's, there's still manual work involved, but it's relatively less painful. And then the next thing is to basically select every job to be the data that's aligned with job. Yep. And there we go. So you basically have this chart in less than five minutes. So I think that's not bad at all. Now let's see how to create this small multiple double radar charts in Power BI. So last time we talked about how to create one single chart in Power BI. And in order to create this small multiple, the first thing is also to reorganize your data sets in the way that Power BI will accept and make the charts uh, very efficiently. So it's different from how you organize in Excel. So this is the way that's organized and uh, make sure that you do have the before training score as one column and after training as one column. So I've already done this step in my last video. If you haven't watched it, you can watch it from the link down below in the description. So I wouldn't repeat it here, but basically once you um, upload the data into Power BI, this is how it's going to look like. There's one trick that will make it so much easier for us when we cre create the small multiples, and that is to use formula to create your chart title. So usually, let's Say this is a chart that we create uh, if you need to create a title you will need to go to format and then go to general tab and go to title and then you can type for example vp operations um, and then that would be the title for you but then if you're creating a whole bunch of charts in batches that will be so manual and what you actually want to do is not manually type but use formula so click on the conditional format and then it will ask you, depending on which field that you want to uh, base it on. So it will be the title, and then we can just use the first title. 
So this time, when you once you have this set up, the title will automatically show in your chart. And then later on, when you need to change it to something else, you can just unclick this title and then it will be other title that you choose. So it will be so much faster. Okay, so now actually from this point on in Power BI, it's so much easier than doing it in Excel. So for this chart, I do prefer the Power BI way better. So, okay, so let's say this is a, the um, page where we need to recreate this chart for the next six people. So what you need to do is really simply once you create this, and again, if you wonder how to create this, go back to my video from last week in the description. And again, you just copy and you just copy this chart, Control C and Control V, and then you can copy to whatever you want. Let's say I have three that I wanna copy, and then um, I will copy the three together, and then it gives me the rest of my chart. Okay, so I have my six charts, and then let's say I want my first to be VP operations, and then my, I want my second one to be the other jobs. And uh, what you need to do is actually in the filter, open your filter panel and make sure you have title in your filter. If it's not already listed here, let's say we don't have it here, then make sure you have the title in here. And then once you have the title in your filter, um, select the chart that you wanna customize. And let's say the second one, I want it to be VP engineering. And then you can just select it to be VP engineering. And then for the next one, let's say I want it to be uh, VP finance. So I unclick VP operation and go to VP finance and I get the score. And then the same thing for the rest. Like, so it's just a matter of filtering, um, which is a lot better, uh, a lot less manual work than if you are to do this in Excel. And voila, here we go. So we actually finished the same chart in Power BI in less than two minutes. Okay, so that's everything I want to share today. I hope that you find it helpful. And actually, the small multiple, the way that I'm sharing with you today in Power BI is not even the most efficient way. If you are doing the more traditional type of column or bar charts, there's actually an even cooler way to do it in Power BI, which I will show you in my next video.